Somebody asked me the other day, Thomas, if I'm out of shape and I haven't worked out in forever, where do I start to get back into shape? Or maybe if I hate exercise, how do I like exercise? Well, the answer is going to be the same for both. And I've got a very simple, simple solution for you. And it's something that requires no overthinking at all. What you do is you start where it's the most convenient. So my tip is, if you have access to a gym or a workout room, just walk into the workout room and then literally choose one thing that seems either the most fun or the most convenient for you to do. Because a lot of people, they stop themselves from beginning an exercise habit, which starts with just one workout. They st it starts with the first workout and they don't even do that. They procrastinate that forever because they think they have to have this entire elaborate complex plan laid out. It's got to be perfect before they even get started. But it's not the case. You got to think of getting started back into working out. It's like cleaning up a big mess. I mean, how did you get that big mess in the first place? It, it, it comes from neglect, just like with uh, not working out, right? With, when, when you have a big mess, you have a big messy room, you start anywhere. It doesn't matter because you know this for a fact. The moment you get started, it doesn't even matter what you choose to pick up first, you know eventually the whole room is going to get cleaned up and organized. You just got to get started. That's all that matters. So my recommendation is you get to the gym, we're in a gym right now, and you just pick up or get on the first thing that appeals to you. So if you're a cardio person, get on the spin bike. If you're a weightlifter and there's a barbell in front of you, pick it up, start doing death lifts. Now the question is, for how long and how many reps, how many sets, that doesn't matter either. I mean, you just got to get this started. You got to get a little bit of workout momentum in there. So you choose any arbitrary weight, lift it up as many times as you feel like. Now, do you have to do it until you're fully exhausted? That would be ideal, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can just pick it up a few times and then once your brain says, okay, I've had enough, you can put it down. Because what's going to happen is whatever you end up doing, Record and document what you did and how long you did it, how many reps, how many sets. Record that all down. The next time you go back, now you've got a goal. And the goal is simple. Either meet or exceed what you did last time. If I grab this barbell right here and I do three sets of uh, 10 repetitions each at this weight, 135 pounds, say I'm doing deadlifts, now I've got that documented, I'm going to come back the next day, ideally, or the day after, and I'm going to come in and I'm going to, see, I'm going to either try to meet that, now I know exactly what I've got to, got to match, I've got to do three sets of 10 reps, or beat it. And I am going to try to beat it. That's just how I'm built, that's how I'm wired, and most people are. Once you're given a target, most people have a tendency to just, they're just trained to try to exceed it. And every time you do that, you're getting better and better. You're getting more and more in shape. And then before you know it, you're in the habit of exercise. And at that point, once you've achieved a level of familiar, familiarity, you're back in the gym, you're lifting weights, you're doing cardio and things like that. Then at that point, you start to redesign your workout program and make it more specific to your goals. So if you're trying to put on muscle, you're gonna be hitting the weights. You're gonna be doing things like pyramids. And then if you're trying to lose body fat, you're gonna be doing more circuit training, high intensity interval stuff, maybe some Tabatas, maybe jumping on the cardio machines to do some high intensity interval cardio that type of stuff. But in the beginning, when you're just getting started, oh my gosh, just pick anything and just start doing it. And you know what, when you're at home, who cares how you're dressed? Sometimes, because I'm guilty of the same thing, I'd procrastinate actually getting my first workout in because I think I'm gonna have to go and get dressed up uh, into my workout gear and sometimes I can't even find my workout gear, who cares? Go in your everyday work clothes. I mean, if it's at the end of the day, the clothes are gonna go in the wash anyway, so who cares? As long as you're doing something that can't potentially rip or injure your clothing, you're gonna be fine. Just get it done. But the most important thing is record what you did and then just attempt to beat it every single time you go back to the gym and watch what's gonna happen. In the next one to two weeks, 
Your brain is gonna be so much better wired for exercise. You're gonna be more in the habit of exercise. You're gonna be looking forward to it. It's just like cleaning. You procrastinate cleaning. In fact, you make the mess worse and worse and worse until you finally make the decision to go and pick up one thing. And the moment you pick up one thing, the next thing you know, you start picking up more things. And as things start to clear out, you're, you start to like it. You start to think, this is not bad. I feel better about myself. I feel better about my space. And then before you know it, everything's cleaned up and organized again. And you're, you're wondering, why didn't I do this sooner? I'll tell you why. Because you never got started with the first step. So it's the same with exercise. Just get started with the first step. Put yourself into the area. It could be a gym, it could be a place in your house where you're just gonna do some push-ups and sit-ups or jumping jacks, whatever it is. Do it, measure it, and record it. And then try to beat it next time, and then try to beat that performance the next time, and so on and so forth. You get it? It doesn't have to be complicated. Don't overthink it. Getting in shape is just simply getting in shape. There's nothing more to it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you like this content, please feel free to comment and subscribe so you can get all of my updates. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way every single time I put a new video out, you'll be the first to be notified about it. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't, don't forget to go to smoothieshred.com so that way you can get all of our free recipes and you can get more video trainings. I've got workouts up there. And again, none of that requires an email opt-in.